Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we've got a ballpoint pen review. So look what I found at my local dollar store, Dollar Tree. Um, this is uh, their brand Jot of office supplies that they sell there. And uh, they're selling 10 ballpoint pens for a dollar. Everything in the store is a dollar. And so here are 10 ballpoint pens for one dollar. That's 10 cents each. Hard to imagine that you can still buy a ballpoint pen for 10 cents or any kind of pen for that matter. Uh, but um, yeah, 10 for a buck. And uh, now it says here that the size is 0 0.7 millimeter medium blue. Now 0 0.7 sounds fairly uh, fine in my uh, reasoning. Uh, and I say that because other kind of comparable type pens and expensive ballpoint pens like the BIC, well, its medium point is 1.0. Its fine point pens are 0 0.8 millimeter. Uh, the same for uh, Papermate Wright Brothers pen, which is their sort of inexpensive line of ballpoint pens. They are uh, medium is 1.0 and the um, fine point is 0 0.8 millimeter. So this is a 0 0.7 millimeter and they're saying it's medium. Well, we'll see. Uh, it also says smooth writing. So um, on the back uh, is basically imported um, in the USA, Greenbrier International, where were these made? Made in India. Let's see, I'll focus in or not. So, no, sorry. Anyways, these were made in India, okay? And um, again, 10 cents each. So let's, uh, let's see what these are. These are all about, you know, when you buy ballpoint pens, and by the way, they sell these in black also. Um, so you have your choice of blue and black. I always choose blue. Uh, it's been that way my whole life. And when I was a kid in school, I never wanted black pens. I always wanted blue pens. I think because everything that's printed generally in books and stuff like that is in black ink and I thought I wanted to write in a different color than what everything was printed in, newspaper and books, and so I went with blue. And I, here it is all these years later and I'm still going for blue. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at this, this jot pen here, this 10 cent pen. Um, okay, it's got uh, you know the clear barrel uh, so you can see the ink uh, level inside. It's got the blue cap on the end. It's got the blue tip. By the way, uh, the black version just has the black tips on either end of the barrel, but is also a clear barrel. It has that little bit of rubber on the tip to sort of keep the ball bearing at the tip of the point from drying out. So there, there it is. So, okay, that's good. It's got a cap with a clip uh, for putting it in your pocket or your folder and holding it in place. Clips, uh, caps now all have some sort of hole in them. Uh, people have actually choked on these things, believe it or not, and they'd get stuck. And when they were closed, 
um, you could suffocate, but now at least it's sort of hollow. Anyways, so the cap, put the cap on the end, and uh, let's see, let me, let me zoom out a little bit, and uh, let's get this, oh, look at that, it writes right away. So this is a jot ballpoint pen in blue. Well, I have to tell you, uh, it writes fairly smoothly, although I would say I would it feels more like a fine point. Uh, this is a 0.7 millimeter uh, uh, ball tip which really equals a fine point if you ask me um, not medium but it does you know hey for 10 cents uh, you know what it it writes fairly well I'm I'm you know impressed I mean if you needed a pen or, and you didn't care if somebody said, hey, you got to, can I borrow a pen? This is what you give them. Uh, it'll do the job, and it, when you don't get it back, what, what do you care? It was 10 cents. Um, the quick brown fox jumped over. The lazy dog. Okay. Let's see. Now is the time for all good men. Come to the aid of their country. Stay safe. Wash your hands. I hope everybody is well and safe during these kind of troubled times here we're dealing trying to beat this virus um, how about some quotes um, yeah it really writes smoothly fairly quiet as it goes on the page. Mm-hmm. Only those who do nothing make no mistakes. Let's try a tablet here unlined and uh, white and yeah, see how this does um, oh yes Trust life 
and it will teach you in joy and sorrow all you need to know. One must never show fear in the face of a mob. Richard Nixon. Well, smooth is right. Uh, it's a little blotchy here and there. Um, you know, not a perfect pen or a, a um, you know, exquisite writing instrument, but it will do the job for sure. The Jot 10 cent pen in blue nice. Um, you know again for ten for a dollar you could buy enough pens um, to write probably one of the great novels, if you, if you were so inclined and had it in you. Um, and yeah, you know what? People wrote things with a pen and with a pencil. Uh, there was stuff written before there were computers or even typewriters for that matter. And um, you could write a thousand letters probably with these 10 pens. Um, uh, what you could write just using one 10 cent pen. Uh, pretty amazing when you think about it. So there it is, the, the Jot um, Blue Medium. It's not really medium, more of a, a fine pen, fine point pen, 10 for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, you know what? worth. I'll, I'll put a couple of these in my car. I'll put a couple of these in my work bag and um, put a couple of these uh, by the phone. And um, you know what? They'll be great. And if anybody needs a pen to borrow, I'll be happy to give them one of these and it'll certainly do, do the job. So thank you for watching this pen review. And we'll see you again real soon, right here on Always Analog.